Hello once again, this is ATG.Melk here, and I'm just going to very quickly tell you about two specific entities that will help you get your map working the way you want them to work. And these two entities are the Team Round Timer and the Game Round Win. Uh, first thing you have to do is actually spawn these in your map. Most maps require these, otherwise they won't work. So the first entity is the Team Round Timer. Uh, have your entity tool selected, type the in, click anywhere. You can place these anywhere in your map. I usually place them outside of the map, but really uh, it doesn't matter where you place them. Okay, so for the team round timer, give it a name, I'm just going to call it round timer. Apply, start disabled, no. You should always keep this to no. Timer length in seconds, this is how long you want the, the game round to last, so this is in seconds, so 600 would end up to uh, 6 minutes, 300 would add up to 3 minutes, and I'm actually going to leave it at 3 minutes, so that seems like a, a kind of default round time. Maximum timer length, if you're going to add uh, seconds and uh, basically add time uh, by capturing points or having a payload race, then you could add a maximum timer length which is 600 um, I'm I'm actually going to leave this at 600 because I don't want the timer to add anywhere above 600 so uh, if you don't have any control points or a payload in your map then you can safely leave this at zero that means that there is no maximum start paused uh, no if you, if your timer starts paused it will need to be activate it through an activator first and we just want the time to start ticking as soon as the round starts so make sure stop stop paused is set to no unless of course you have a great reason to leave it at yes setup timer length uh, if you want a certain setup time before something begins in the map you can set that here I'm just going to insert a setup time of 45 seconds to show you how it works reset time on round start uh, no Leave that to know that's the default. Use countdown sounds, yes, and show timer in HUD, yes. Um, use countdown sounds basically means that you hear the administrator say, five seconds left in the mission, and that kind of stuff. Uh, show timer in HUD basically means that you can see it in game. Uh, click apply. Now, we're going to jump right into the next entity, which is the game round win. Enter. I usually place it right next to the game timer, so I have these two entities neatly together but once again you don't have to uh, give this a name winner is you doesn't matter what you name it it's just so that you know what it is uh, team uh, you should set the team so when this entity is activated this team will win so um, if the time's up and you don't want either team to win set it to none that will activate sudden death but if the time is up and you want red to win for example put it to red I'm actually going to leave it at none Force map reset, yes, uh, that's default, that just resets the map and makes sure everything is reset when the round ends. It's kind of obvious. Switch teams on map win, uh, if you want, if the map is won and you want the teams to be switched, then you can set this to yes, I'm just going to leave this at no, apply. Now, for the, for back to the team round timer, go to outputs, click add, and for my output named, uh, select on finished so when there is no time left target entity's name uh, winner is you fire this input round win and what this does is that as soon as the timer ends so there's no time left nobody will win so there will be a sudden death or if you set it to red for the team win then as soon as the timer is up the red team will win up to you but basically this just activates the uh, game round win when the time is up uh, after a layer seconds of zero that ha it happens immediately click apply and that's actually all there is to it now you have two neat ent entities that will activate each other and you can move these around if you really want Ta -da. Uh, that's basically all there is to this tutorial this will make your map function nice and neatly and uh, that's it goodbye Thank you.